Hi, Randy Fairfield here, Mr. EdTech, and today I got a question from a colleague who had created a quiz using Google Forms and was trying to send it out to their students and didn't know how. I'm going to go ahead and cover how to do that as if you weren't using any learning management system at all, as if you were using Edmodo, and as if you were using Google Classroom, and cover the best practice in each of those three instances. Let's go ahead and get started. So assuming that you don't have a learning management system such as Edmodo or Google Classroom and you want your students to take this form, the best way to go about that is to click on the send button and from there to click on the link button. And from there you'll get a really long hyperlink, which obviously you're not going to be able to have students type in. Unfortunately, when you click this shorten URL button, the URL does not shorten well enough so that a student would be able to type that in. Uh, with ease. And so I would recommend not ever using that shorten URL option and instead just right clicking and copy or control C copy. Going over to goo.gl, uh, there's no www uh, w in that, just goo.gl and no dot com or anything like that either. And from there you control V paste or right click and paste um, and shorten the URL. And from there, that will give you this link that you can then have your students type in to go ahead and take the form. Maybe it's a quiz or a survey that you've created. Uh, another option for goo.gl, if you have, think you'll have a hard time remembering, is to get the goo.gl extension. And to get an extension, you simply go to the hamburger, as I like to call it, uh, go to more tools, and then extensions. And from there, that will take you to this page. You'll scroll to the bottom, say get more extensions, and search the Chrome store for goo.gl. Hit enter, and it'll do a search for you. And this is what you'll want to get right here, the goo.gl URL shortener. Once you've added that into your Chrome browser, added this extension, it will show up on the top right corner right here. And then when I click up here, it will automatically shorten this URL right here. So that's another really handy option to have that goo.gl uh, extension right there. Now, if you're using something like Edmodo, you don't have to go through the process of shortening the URL. All you would need to do is simply copy this link, go over to Edmodo, and when you're posting your note or your assignment, go to where it asks you to share a link and click there right click and paste or control V paste and when you click here it'll automatically grab the title of your form and place it in there for you hit the attach button and then when you go post the assignment or the note it will show up as a link for the students to click on so they don't have to type it in and if you're using Google Classroom it's even easier you don't have to even bother with clicking the send button or finding the link you simply go to Google Classroom hit the plus button Go to create an assignment or an announcement. And from there, you can title it whatever you'd like. Go into your Google Drive right here, attach Google Drive item, and find the form that you're looking for. Once you add the form to your assignment, then the students will be able, be able to just click on the link from what you've posted in Google Classroom. It's that easy. Well, I hope this tutorial helps. If you're looking for more ideas and resources on how to use Google Forms or anything else, Edmodo, Google, or other things, head to my website at mredtech.com and you'll find all kinds of things there. Have a great day.